Um, hi, Bella, again. Um, school did not go like I thought. Uh, I don't really know how to start. Um, I don't really want to talk to Renee about this, so I just needed to get it out. Um, well, it was raining, but only a little. Um, I got to take the truck. That was cool. It ran, so awesome. However, it immediately hurt my plan of being invisible. Not that really a quiet car would have helped. It seems that Charlie um, like let people know I was coming or something. Everyone knew who I was. I mean, not just because I was new, but also this was so small. I mean, I'm not used to a school that's small, and the school looked not like a school. It was like a random bunch of buildings. It doesn't matter. Anyways, um, I guess I met some nice kids. There was this guy, Eric. He was nice. A little too nice, but, you know, he was nice. Um girl in my Spanish class, um, Jessica. She, she was nice too. Um, there's this other guy, Mike. Also a little too nice. It's weird. Yeah. Guys were never this nice to me. And, you know, and I don't know, I'm kind of happy now that they weren't, because it's a little, like, a puppy, but like one that you didn't really want. not really the point anyways um the point is so stupid um okay I'm getting ahead of myself um at lunch I was sitting with Jessica and I saw this group of kids sitting together in the corner and they were different um, beautiful? I know that sounds, that sounds really lame and really creepy, um, but they were. Like, there was this really big one. Like, huge, like, a, it could have been a bodybuilder. Well, not, not, like, gross like that, though. And he was with this blonde who was, like, what Scarlett Johansson wishes she looks like. And there was a small one, and she was like a little pixie, and she just was so graceful. And she was with this tall, blonde one who kind of seemed a little bit James Dean-ish. Not really the right description. Um, what does that sound? Charlie's watching TV, I guess. Um, and there was other one. He was smaller than his brothers, but still strong. And he had this bronze hair, and I couldn't stop looking at him. I even asked Jessica about them. Apparently they're the Cullens. I guess they're newish to town, and they're all live with Dr. Cullen and his wife. I guess they're pretty young, but they adopted all these kids. And supposedly, um, Rosalie and Jasper are Mrs. Cullen's niece and nephew. I guess they're Rosalie and Jasper Hale. Rosalie's the blonde girl and Jasper's the blonde boy. And then Emmett and Edward and Alice. Cullen. Um, Emmett's with Rosalie, and Jasper's with Alice, and Edward is the other one. Um, turns out Edward was in my biology class, and when he saw me, I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but he looked 
Like, he hated me. I know, how could he hate me? He'd never met me before, but... Trust me, the look in his eyes, and he was so tense all class, because I had to sit by him, of course. Which was really hard, because I was simultaneously aware of how insanely attractive he was, and how obviously he wanted to get as far away from me as possible. I didn't smell bad, I checked. Um, as soon as class was over, he bolted as fast as possible. A little faster than possible, but his eyes were so black, and I swear if looks could kill, I'd be so dead. But then I thought maybe he's just a jerk, but that's just the way he is. I mean, Jessica did say he never dates anyone, so maybe he's just, you know, antisocial. It wasn't just me, right? No. That Mike kid I talked about, um, he met me then. He was being very overly chipper and helpful, and, um, he said that he's never seen Edward Eyes like that before. He asked me what I did to him. I don't know what I did to him. I... All I know is I wanted to be vis invisible today, and everyone knew who I was, and they all called me Isabella, so my dad's been calling me that, and then I got weirdly obsessed with this boy for no good reason. I just, and he apparently hates me, and I don't know why. And I went to the office at the end of the day, and there he was trying to change his class. That's how much he hates me and doesn't want to be around me. He wanted to get out of the class, and when he saw I was there, he look, got that look on his face again, and he got out of there as fast as possible. I don't know what I could have done. I wish I knew why. It makes me so upset, because it shouldn't. Why should I care? But it does, and... I just really hope tomorrow... That's sick that I just all I can think about is the next time I see him. It's sick. It's so weird. He hates me. Why do I want to see a person who hates me? It's because I want to know why. That is why. That's why I want to see him. That's why I'm so fascinated with him. Yeah. I know that doesn't explain the lunchroom, but I mean no one can deny that he's so gorgeous, it makes your eyes want to bleed. Yeah, it's okay. That was just normal, and everything after that was just because I didn't understand why he hated me so much. I'm just curious. It's natural to want to know. So I'm gonna find out. Oh, and if I don't, whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't care. This is really long. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna go to bed. Sleep. I need sleep. If the rain stops, maybe I'll sleep. I hate the sound of the rain. Okay. I'm gonna stop being a baby now. Um, I'm going to bed. Night. Webcam. Why am I saying goodnight to my webcam? That's so stupid. Uh, anyways, um,